What's going on, guys? It is Ricky, aka the War Champion. We are back, folks, with a good um, video series here today. We're going to start things off with playing this game with a caveat. It's easy to play the game without, I mean, with a hero, but is it doable to play the game with a hero and not be able to use any towers? And even some of the special powers that you're blessed with in this game. Can we actually win without even using them? Let's find out, folks. Um, before you watch this video, please, if you can, like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I plan to bring pleasing content. Let's get this underway. So just to prove to you that I'm playing this game honorably, I showed you that we are also not playing with any upgrades, as I said already in the, in the video description. Um, so let's get started. We're going to play Southport. Tells us to build there. I think I do build there for a minute, but then just to get rid of it, just so we don't have to deal with seeing that tower throughout the gameplay. So we're going to play with Bolin Far Slayer, folks. I don't really play with him often, but you know, eh, he's he's cool. You know, I like him. I don't play with him very often. He's like a a range, one of the range heroes. Uh, he just has the special abilities of throwing those mines on the ground, a lot of mines actually, especially as he levels up. And then he also has um, that ability to shoot the um, yeah, that right there. He's able to shoot the the. Um, the that gook on the ground to cause enemies to slow down as they move. Ah, oh, beautiful. Weapons ready. Hold me if you lucky punk. I never miss. Yeah, we're waiting because I want him to set a lot of mines on the ground. That's that good thing that he does. And he also gains it. And that's another thing. He's easy to level up because as, as, as he's uh, is passive, since it's a passive, see, boom, since it's a passive thing that he sets those mines on the ground. So he's always going to gain experience each time he does that. I think right here he's going to level up. It's here shortly. But we're not in any rush to start the wave, so that's why I'm allowing him. Yeah, see, it leveled up. Now, now he has that special ability, I believe. Yeah, that point, that little gook. So far, so good. Keep letting him do that. Take advantage and exploit his special ability for our good. Let all these goblins walk into that. Boom! Boom! Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. Weapons ready. back here. Boom! And this last wave. So far, so good. This last wave, they're trying to trouble us with a bunch of goblins, 16 goblins, but we gotta put a stop to that. his little comments that he says. He's kind of funny to me out of all the characters. Okay, we just got to find, we just have to survive this way. We can't let any of these guys get away from us. Boom! He's gone. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh-uh. Boom! 
Oh, it's a foot race. We can't let him get to the finish line. We can't let him leave the battlefield, but he's not going to leave the battlefield. Oh, yes, he's going to be stopped. No, you're supposed to. What are you doing? No! <laughs> that could have been bad right there, folks. If that goblin, if he didn't throw that, he was clutch for that. If he didn't throw that that mine in, in front of the goblin, that goblin, I'm pretty sure, would, might have escaped. But, hey, he got it done, folks. He did what he had to do. And he stopped them. So that just goes to show, folks, not only that did we not use any of the towers, we had no upgrades, which actually didn't even matter because we didn't even use any of the icons, the reinforcements or the rain of fire, thus proving that it is doable to win without using any of those towers, without having the icons, the power up icons, nor the uh, the upgrades as well. So thank you for watching. This is just the first of of many videos I that I'm going to be posting similar to this one but um stay tuned thank you and farewell